In today's video, I want to cover an upcoming PlayStation 4 exclusive being in some massive trouble. That is Judgment, and this news is really going under the radar. But shipments and digital sales in Japan have been halted after an actor's arrest, an actor from the game. I want to take a look at all of the news and what this means for the Western version of the game, and that might be altered as well. Just some horrible news for that game, especially going into the release. It's supposed to come out this June. It's nearing completion, and now we might be at a point where the game might not actually come out. We'll talk all about that. Also, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and Turtle Rock Studios have announced a brand new game back for blood. Turtle Rock being the developers of Left 4 Dead and Evolve, it's yet another cooperative shooter. And it could be a game to keep your eyes on. And lastly, Castlevania The Anniversary Collection has been rated by an Australian ratings board. That's probably coming to the PlayStation 4. As far as what is going to be included in that collection, I don't know, but I can speculate and I'll offer you guys that at the end of this video. First up, we have to talk about Sega halting judgment shipments and digital sales in Japan following actor period. Taki's arrest. Sega just announced a voluntary halt on shipments and digital sales of Judgment in Japan following news of actor Periaki Taki's arrest for allegedly using cocaine in violation of Japan's drug control law. Taki plays the role of Kyohei Hamura in Judgment. Hamura is the captain of the Matsugune family, a subsidiary of the Tojo clan based in Kamurocho. In a press release, here's what Sega said. Quote, Sega has received the arrest reports and are currently confirming the facts, but for the time being, we will voluntarily refrain from the shipments and digital sales of Judgment, as well as from things like posting the product's homepage. We apologize for any inconveniences this may cause for customers, as well as the parties involved. Judgment just launched in Japan on the PlayStation 4 in December of 2018, and it was being received very, very well. It was done by the Yakuza team, and this was a game that really took that team's design to the next generation platforms. Technically speaking, it was on another level comparatively to Yakuza 6, and the game was being received very well and of course they were prepping up a western release this June and the amazing thing about the western release is that they were also going to add English voiceover so Judgment was a game that could have really resonated at a western level as well. Yakuza has been released over here in the west. It has a relatively good following however Judgment could have made a sizable increase on that just based on the kind of game that it is and also the Wall Street Journal reporter Takashi Mochizuki reported on Twitter that Sega is currently discussing its course of action regarding the western release of Judgment and that a decision has not yet been made. So we don't even know if this game is going to come out in the West now. Japanese sales have already been halted. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say it's just one actor using cocaine. Is that really that big of a deal? Well, Japan's drug laws are very, very strict. And yes, to them, that's a very big deal. Cultures are different. I know over here in the States, if somebody was busted using cocaine and he was just an actor in a game, the game probably wouldn't get pulled entirely. But Japan, it's a completely different animal. And it's just an unfortunate circumstance for everyone involved. Sega obviously poured so much money into developing that game. They've been pouring a lot of money into localizing the game and now they can't even sell the game. Now the Western release is in flux. And what's going to happen with it? I have no idea. The Yakuza Studio and Judgment producer vows to not let things end like this. And comments from CyberConnect 2's presidents have also been made. He criticized companies who cease the commercialization of all products and the person charged is related to in cases like this. And Yakuza Studio producer Daisuke Sato tweeted that he will definitely not let things end this way and he refuses for Piri Taki's contribution to the game to be completely erased and vowed to bring him back. Again, he did break Japanese law, but I don't think this is grounds to remove the game. But again, it's a completely different animal on how you compare how they do things compared to how they do things over here in the West. It's just different cultures. We have to accept that. And Sega over in Japan is going to know the right decision to make over us here in the West just because we're living in a different world. We're living in a different society. So you have to assess it from that vantage point. All I know is this is some incredibly disappointing information for those of you in Japan and wanted to buy the game. You can't even do that right now. And the game just released three months ago and the game is three months away from being released over here in the West. This is just an absolute trend rain wreck of a situation. Hopefully everything gets remedied. Hopefully Judgment can still come out because again, I really saw this game to be a breakthrough PS4 exclusive, a breakthrough game for the studio and for this franchise. I know this is an offset of the Yakuza franchise, but it's still in that same world. And I really thought it could have taken those games to another level. Unfortunately, now we don't even know if the game's going to come stateside. Again, it was scheduled to be released on June 25th. We'll keep you guys updated on it. If it gets canceled, if it gets delayed, I want to hear more. But right now, this is all the information that we have. どうも。いいよだね、探偵さん。また今度だ。ふ。なんでそんなもん。飛行中トラブルが発生することも。来るんじゃねえよ。来るけな。もう。
Moving on from that, let's move on to some positive news. Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and Turtle Rock Studios are teaming up to bring a new cooperative shooter Back for Blood. They put out a press release. Quote, we are thrilled to partner with the proven Turtle Rock Studios team on Back for Blood to advance the co-op zombie genre forward with innovative multiplayer gameplay. The talented team at Turtle Rock has been developing amazing games together for a long time, and this is a great opportunity to work with them to create a new gaming universe built specifically with the large co-op zombie shooter community in mind. It's hard to overstate what an awesome opportunity this is. We get to return to a genre that was born in our studio with over 10 years of additional experience and zombie ideas racked up in our brains. That is coming directly from Chris Ashton, co-founder and design director of Turtle Rock Studios. He continued by saying we also have some of the best teammates in the business at Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment who understand our development process and are equally committed to our player first mentality. We love being able to announce so we can start working with the community right away. We are not resting on any past laurels. Our goal is to take all that we've learned and push forward. We know that's a tall order. We're growing the team considerably because we're stepping up to the biggest challenge in the studio's history. We know this title has to stand out and we fully intend to make that happen. Now what's interesting is Back for Blood was listed as a next generation cooperative shooter. So who knows if this is going to be a PlayStation 4 game, if it's going to be a PlayStation 5 game, if it's going to be a cross-gen title. That wasn't really specified. However, Turtle Rock Studios is an incredibly talented studio. I do have to say Left 4 Dead is one of the best co-op games ever. However, Evolve left a lot to be desired. I think as far as a $60 game goes, Evolve really wasn't worth it. However, there was definitely fun to be had with Evolve, but I think the majority of you guys would agree in that it was a rather disappointing game. Then came Evolve Stage 2, and then it became a free-to-play game. And then, unfortunately, 2K Games shut down the game's dedicated servers in September of last year. So that was an unfortunate turn of events for Evolve, but I still had some fun with that game, even though it probably wasn't worth that full $60. I think Turtle Rock Studios, in partnership with Warner Brothers Interactive, if they can have free reign to do what they want, if they have the resources available to them, Back for Blood can turn out to be something pretty good. We don't know much about the game, but we'll see how it turns out. And this does look to be a game in the vein of Left 4 Dead. And I know a lot of you guys have wanted Left 4 Dead 3 for a very long time. Valve is probably never going to make that come to fruition. So Turtle Rock picking up Back for Blood with Warner Brothers Interactive. That could be something rather good. And lastly, I do want to give you guys a heads up that Castlevania The Anniversary Collection could be coming soon as it's been rated by an Australian ratings board. It's been listed to release on multiple platforms, but as the description is brief on the page, we actually have no idea on what games will be included in the collection. Could it be older NES and SNES titles? That's possible. Do remember that Konami just put out the Castlevania Requiem Collection that released back in October and that gave us the chance to play Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood on the PlayStation 4. That was in 4K, 1080p upscaling. It had a smoother rendering options and trophy support and it was a pretty nice buy if you found it discounted i don't know what the anniversary collection would entail however with the title of anniversary collection i imagine it would be some older games however i would love to see lords of shadow on the playstation 4 i thought lords of shadow was a great game even though it was a little bit different than your typical Castlevania experience. I just thought that was a really good game. Some of the PS2 Castlevania games I also think are a little bit underrated. However, I do foresee that the majority of you guys either want to play the NES, SNES titles, maybe even the Nintendo DS titles. Those trilogy of games on the Nintendo DS with Dawn of Sorrow, Order of Ecclesia. Those games were some of the best in the entirety of the Castlevania franchise, and they've been relegated to the Nintendo DS for all this time. If they can actually make the transition to the PlayStation 4, that would be remarkable as well. For those of you guys that a ratings board doesn't point towards anything, I will tell you guys you are completely wrong on that. A lot of games have been listed on ratings board in the past, and they always come to fruition. I think literally 100% of the time if a game is listed on a ratings board, barring some absolute catastrophe... That game has come to fruition. I point to you most recently, Hitman Absolution and Hitman Blood Bunny being listed on the PlayStation 4 on a ratings board. And look at that, those games came to the PS4 as well. So I imagine the Castlevania Anniversary Collection will be announced relatively soon. Exactly what games are to be included, I don't know, but I'd love to see the DS games. I'd love to see Lords of Shadow. I know we're not going to get all of those games in one collection because knowing Konami, they would rather separate those games into multiple collections, but you get the idea. Hopefully at some point we get all of those titles on the PlayStation 4. And that's going to conclude this video again i definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts especially on the judgment fiasco actor perry Taki has been arrested he was a part of judgment and he was an integral character in the game but this has pushed sega to removing digital listings of the game so you can't buy it anymore in japan and they are halting shipments for now so this is just some incredibly unfortunate news we don't know the status of the western release it was scheduled to come on june 25th what happens now is the game going to get canceled altogether is it going to get pushed back into the vault we shall see and i will keep you guys updated warner brothers interactive and turtle 
Turtle Rock Studios are teaming up to do Back for Blood, a new cooperative zombie shooter. It's listed as a next-gen cooperative FPS, so we'll keep you guys posted on that. And lastly, the Castlevania Anniversary Collection has been listed by Australian Rating Board. What can be included in that, I don't know, but again, something to keep your eyes on. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.